hello and welcome back to Danny B Trains. For a while I've been showcasing some real life rail fanning videos, watching some CSX trains in and around the Middle Tennessee area. However this week we are back in Trains 22. A couple months ago I gave a very brief look at a good sized route I've been working on that is completely fictional but loosely based around Middle Tennessee where I do my real life rail fanning. Right now, end to end, it's about 30 plus miles in length and we have two yards. A much smaller yard that houses some engines and serves as a transfer area in the small town of Rockville. Rockville has been coming along since the very beginning, but the city itself is still anything but finished. There is much more detailing to still be done in this area for sure. But as it stretches along, you see some very rural areas running along a double mainline part of the route that eventually feeds into a very scenic but elaborate looping climb that goes around one of two lakes on the map right now. Eventually we reach an area full of more development with a smaller town that leads into a big city that, for the sake of things, will serve as Nashville, Tennessee. The area is entirely fictional and not actually based on Nashville's railroads, but it draws its inspiration from Middle Tennessee. Now, I've also set up some great opportunities to rail fan in this route by using invisible tracks and a Chevy pickup truck asset that works like a locomotive. So come along as we do a rail fanning trip with a chase and pacing shots of a CSX trash train being led by CSX Heritage Unit 1850, the LNN unit.
I hope you enjoyed this next look at my route, and I hope to bring some more videos into this series. With this route, I really started finding my way doing some new building techniques, and overall, I am having much more fun with this project than I was with the HO Scale Model Railroad project. I'll probably get back to the model build again one day, but for now, I'm not sure how soon that will be, but hopefully I can find more time to start getting on here and creating some build videos. To get to this point, I really wanted to have some time to really get a good part of this route developed first, so that the vision is kind of already there, so that we don't bore you too much with that aspect of it. Now that we have about 30 plus miles of track established, we can really focus on getting this route going now. But until next time, thanks for watching, subscribe if you're new, and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.